candidates. So welcome to the OKD documentation and communications uh, subgroup meeting for December 14th of 2021. And uh, this will be our last meeting for the year uh, and actually the last OKD uh, meeting uh, for the year in, uh, overall. And so let's start out uh, looking at current projects. Uh, the charter updates, uh, nothing yet from me on that. Um, nothing yet on the, uh, the basically install and readme stuff. We're, I think we've almost got everything moved over. Um, uh, and create a doc uh, for the build outline. Haven't done that yet. Vadim hasn't been um, available for a regular meeting time. Brian, maybe we should set up a time to meet with Vadim and just talk to him about this, um, like separate uh, in the new year, since it's been kind of hard to catch him at meetings. Um, maybe you and I can just uh, ping him and the three of us can have like even a chat meeting or something like that. Yeah, that would be good. That'd be good. Okay, excellent. Uh, code of conduct, uh, search and replace. Uh, Michael, have you had a chance to do a search and replace on the code of conduct document? I have done that, yes. Run through and clean it up, change some of the wording around just so it's not a direct steal. Okay. Excellent. Uh, the Dean has given his, looks good to me. So if it, the rest of the team here can take a look at it. Okay. You have the, uh, should the, we look uh, at team? it now or should we do async and, and send something out to the working group mailing list? and have folks respond uh, on the ticket. Async would probably be sufficient. Yeah, I think async is better because I think reading now, we, we take up time and, and folks yeah. can sort of hash things up. All right, so I'll send some, I'll add that as a task. I'll send out something uh, uh, to the working group. Uh, send email to working group to look at code of conduct. Hey, uh, survey, I don't know uh, the status of that is, I think we'll have to reach out to Driti separately yeah. outside have, of the meeting. It's 11 been, p.m. for her, so. Yeah, have you been able to get a hold of her on the Twitter stuff or the survey stuff in the past week? The I last had... time I messaged her, she was out of the office and I haven't tried again. So she was on, okay. I think on hot. Yeah, there's. So I'll, I'll keep pinging her too and, um, and CC you on, in Slack. So eventually, because I would like to get the username password um, shared with, between you and I um, yes. as well for the Twitter. So in, in, as well as figure out what to do next for the survey. Yes. So, um, yes, let's uh, get that done. Yes. Uh, Daniel is not here to talk about uh, the guides updates uh, for folks who weren't at the full meeting. He was in the full meeting and gave an update. Uh, and we decided to do it as a discussion thread. Uh, so he's going to be doing that um, uh, probably in the new year uh, to round out the guides update. And then that'll clear everything out of the repo um, that is sort of content related. Uh, and he'll work with Brian on making sure that that's all nice and pretty on the website. One more in there. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in early January or late January, we have the DevConf CZ, which is now virtual. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, add a task, and I'll take this on too with um, some with uh, Christian, is to update the presentation slides that we've been using um, whenever we do an office hours or when we do these um, meet up, hallway meetup things at um, there, so that we have a, an updated set of um, slides. We've been using the same slides for a while. Um, and I think um, they're, they're due for um, a bit of revision as well, especially with the new release in 4.9 um, information. Make sure you make sure you grab the version that we had in, in um, what was the event? Uh, bu, 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 the, the, the office hours from a couple months ago, right? The, grab the that live stream because that one. Yeah, that did get updated, and he okay. worked on that a little bit as well. So yeah, so okay. if 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 you can if you have the link to that. Um, yeah. Somewhere, just throw it in here or share it with me and I'll, I'll do it. Um, I just want to make sure we have some of the latest stuff in there. And, um, and, and also, 
um, because Bruce, you had been asking those questions about C groups V um, V two, right? Um, that and and that is something that's in Fedora Core OS or is coming in Fedora Core OS, but it's not in Rel nine. So a little, I wanted to add a slide in, um, just sort of the early warning system for that coming and when it's coming um, in in OCP and. And you know what's that? So a cup is. I'm sure other people have things that they want to add in or update as well. So I think that's thing we should just keep a refresh every once in a while, so it looks slightly different at least. Yeah, and I, th I think that's as much of a documentation issue as anything, so that uh, people know what they're getting and how to change it if it's not what they need. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so so that's 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 the only other issue that I or topic that I had. Okay, great. Um, there's There are no new issues in the repo that I saw um, that uh, aren't things that we've already talked about. Um, of course, the low contrast for the um, for the uh, Did you get, CSS. Uh, uh, Brian Innes, um, you're on the call. I think um, I had Brandon Johnson sent an email out to you and I, and I haven't reviewed it yet with some suggestions for the. Um... Where did he send it to? Because I don't. He didn't. You didn't haven't get received it. anything. I thought he sent it to your Gmail account. Um, so, because, but if he did, if you didn't get it, he did send something, and I will dig it up. I had him review it and make some suggestions on what we could do to make it more. Um, uh, uh, a better re better readability and more uh, for people with disabilities being able to more accessible site as well. So um, um, and he had, he had some good suggestions, but I, I haven't dug it up and I'll, I'll dig it up and resend it if you didn't get it because he yeah. just had him send it to you and with me CC'd and so. Let me see what was his? Where did it come from? I'm just looking at my junk mail to see if it's actually in His first name is Brandon Johnson, and it might have been from his Gmail account. Um, he is a Red Hat um, contractor. He might. It could be Brandon. I don't see anything. Uh, let me just go into my inbox and see what I have. Well, why don't the two of you synchronize outside the yep. meeting and see if you can. Yep. Yeah, figure out yeah, if, who if you can just uh, contact him, forward yeah. me that, or just cut and paste it into Slack. <laughs> the, um, we can look at that. Um, there was one, two or three, the modifications for inclusive language. <clears throat> I think we've we've taken that through the main meeting. There's no mm -hmm. further action on us. It's all on product and other repos. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone's happy that I close that issue now. Yes. Thank you for your efforts. That was awesome. Yes, here it is. Suggest it's the title string is suggested CSS changes and he sent it to bri.ins at gmail.com. And this is the oh, title. That, oh that that one. Okay. <clears throat> I just go and check that one. I don't actually check that one. International okay. man of mystery with many accounts. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna forward it to Jamie as well, so he has it, Jamie. Excellent, thank you. And there you go. Okay, I, need to, I need to go and work out how to get into that, that account. What, don't don't okay. worry too much. I'll, what is the email address that you do check, Brian? So it's brianinnisuk at gmail.com. Go ahead and put it in the chat. That way she can just read it or copy and paste it. Yeah. And you won't get spammed. Um, I've already said it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let me go put that in there, okay. Yeah, and I'll send it to everybody so you'll get it. But yeah, I was wondering why I hadn't heard back from you on that. I read it, I didn't read the whole thing, it just didn't. Make All right. Sure you got that. So in terms of issues, so you're dealing with the accessibility ones so we can let that go. Uh, the other one was the group charter, legal input. So we basically have the legal input uh, in terms of external repo and social media. Can that one be closed out? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, well, I'll close that one out. Um, well, I'll come back to it and close it out now. Um, uh, actually, uh, oh, I don't know, just get rid of it and close. Information gathered. No issues with 
moving. Okay, close with comment. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Missing security contacts. I got that one. I'm uh, writing up my uh, ask for someone in the community to do that. And uh, code of conduct that's in process. So no other issues. Um, uh, the pull request, where are we on that pull request um, for the virtualization documentation, Brian? <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> I actually have merged it, but I was hoping to get some reviews on that. Um, we, we sort of had a conversation last meeting that it'd be good if we as a collective, as a group, did pull requests rather than me just doing it. And mm -hmm. so... This meeting should own the, the 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 content, and I just felt that if I was just doing everything myself, then it it, it doesn't reflect this group. So um, I, I left that one, hoping that somebody would comment, and nobody did. So I just closed. I just accepted it and merged it. <laughs> okay. I guess so, uh, so it is... if if no one responds after, let's say, um, well, well let's I left it one after, period like, between the time of a meeting. You know, two weeks. Yeah. And that's what I did. I, I went and closed it before this meeting, most of them before this meeting. So I left one okay. one duration between documentation meetings and then I merged it. So. Okay. Perfect. And uh, and we should be better about that. I'll make sure I would send reminders for folks to look at these things. We'll add it to the task list. And that actually brings us to the task list. All right, so what we have is create a list of links to add to the PR against product documentation to add the extra book. I, I still needs to get done. Send an email to the working group to look at the code of conduct. I'm going to do that. And then share a link to the latest slides iteration uh, with Diane, or to Diane, I should say. Yeah. Did I miss anything in terms of action? My, my goal is with those slides is to get a, a, a good deck that with speaker notes in it that any of us or anybody in the working group can give a at a meetup or any time internally, just grab this deck and it will be semi up to date with the latest release note, um, whatever. And then we also have I that mean, for 2022. For sure, what I would be inclined to do is make it part of this group's process to maybe quarterly go through it as a group. Um, if, if even asynchronously, uh, just to make sure it has the latest and greatest. And that way, it, it doesn't have to happen in, uh, in the lead up to an event. It's just part of our process. And that, just, would, this is, that, would, be, that would be awesome. We are very, all of Red Hat is as well, um, very event driven. As you see, product yeah. releases going out in terms of when Red Hat Summit happens or KubeCon releases. So uh, it would be nice to have it on a quarterly cadence. Do we have any thoughts about where that should live? In in the um, in the uh, whatever the GitHub repo is that we create, um, the GitHub.com slash OKD project or OKD. And on that yeah. note, I will say I reached out to the one fellow who was following that um, repo, the OKD one. It turns out he follows 350 other repos as well, so he just is a follower. Yeah. Um, and okay. nobody has responded to me from that. So there is a process at GitHub where I can ask to take over a site, um, and I will uh, I will put that in. But um, yeah, yeah, so maybe in the new year, if nothing happens from GitHub, if they don't respond or whatever, we'll just go with the OKD dash project site and um, be done with it. All right, I'm adding a task for you. Uh to uh to do that process go through the github process so mm -hmm. and i'll create a ticket for it just so we have it documented that we tried and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work okay and and, and i can't remember yeah, I think, does that mean we've we've given up on gitlab i think so because of the lack of discussions i think and because we're so because we're using discussion for so much right now yeah and we can always move it down the road right yeah. i think most if not most of the Red Hat sponsored um, open source projects are in GitHub. Um, and culturally, I think our communities lean towards GitHub. Um, so not, not that I have, a, I like both of them. So 
so um, it doesn't really matter to me, but I think I'd rather stay in GitHub where we have people already connected to us as opposed to disconnect and reconnect and making that ask um, of people. Yeah, Diane, uh, I think it's like the OKD is enough better than the OKD projects that I think it's worth really trying for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write to GitHub and it. I I was try. There was a guy Kevin Hook who was he's hooked to 300 as I said 350 GitHub projects. I thought he was the owner of it. Um, I was mistaken, but he did respond to me. So kudos out there. Um, <laughs> there we go. Developer over at Pinterest who is very into security. So. Speaking of which, uh, we'll close out with one thing. Did we want to say anything uh, about uh, Log4j? Like, it doesn't really impact us um, directly because the only thing in OpenShift that was impacted was the logging operator, which we don't have. So uh, that I know of, there's nothing that directly affects um, uh, that it directly affects OKD, the vulnerability. But does anyone have any a, a different sense that that's that there is something we should be looking at? And should we say something like we are not aware of? Should we just make a quick little comment on this? We don't have a security person to do it now, but it might be. Um, I I'd rather not. Um, since it doesn't impact us, and we are not supporting the logging operator. Um, personally, um, if because if we do, then it's going to distract, I think, from the OpenShift messaging around that um, or the Red Hat messaging, and I haven't even looked to see what's what's out there yet, but um, it might distract people. Um, okay. That's all. I mean. Yeah, as well as you, if you say, like, I looked at that one and, and it was like, okay, noted, uh, but if you say that it doesn't affect us, then you're really taking a stand. Right. And you're setting yourself up if something is shown as uh, as something does pop up. Yeah. All right. Well, then that brings us down to the end of the meeting. Any last uh, comments or questions uh, before we sign off? I'm just looking forward to 2022, guys, um, and getting, you know, working more with Michael and getting the, <laughs> the extra book in there with the guides updated and it's going to, I think we're going to rock it next year. I think so. This has been a fantastic year and I appreciate the 11th. everybody's work. That's right. Yep, we're going to we're going to wait that extra week uh, to give folks a chance to settle in and what. So the next docs meeting is what what's the date of it? January 11th. Uh, January 11th. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And and the next working group is on the 18th. That's right. Yep, according to my calendar. Right. Yep, that's right. We've got some work to and do. I, I need and to go and actually delete those calendar events, uh, so I will go and do that uh, today. Cool. All right, guys. Again, Brian, Bruce, Michael, and especially Jamie, thank you for everything you do. It has really rocked this year to have this external and extra support for docs. Absolutely. So yeah. more of this. Cool. Yeah. And what All you right. do. Happy holidays, folks. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.